Leonard was born and raised in Wyoming, and we both attended the University of Wyoming, which is where I met him at a dance. He was a great dancer, and so handsome he knocked me off my feet. We had three children, two boys and a daughter. We were all very close. We had wonderful times together. As a person, he is kind and generous and has absolute integrity. He has always said, you can't be a little bit pregnant and you can't be a little bit dishonest. Probably eight years ago, when I began to realize that his business judgment was not as good as it has always been, family and friends could always rely on Leonard's business judgment and recommendations. And some little glitches began occurring and he would begin asking me questions over and over again. And I would get cross when he'd say, when do we go to the market? And I'd say, tomorrow. Five minutes later, when do we go to the market? What did we have for lunch, honey? Two minutes later, I think I'm hungry. We haven't eaten lunch, have we? The doctors initially said, well, he might have some Alzheimer's. We're not sure. You can't tell for sure. The only way you know for sure is by an autopsy. And of course, I wasn't ready for that yet. The transition from being a wife and a love to a mommy and a caregiver. Because when Leonard developed Alzheimer's, I lost my best friend, my love, my comrade, my business companion. I, I lost, I lost it all in one man. That, that's the most difficult part. You know, in medicine, focus is everything. And so I think what we're beginning to see now, and certainly it's the intent of this center, is to really focus on the early identification of this disease process, as well as interventions that make a difference. So I have great hope that that's gonna advance our understanding. It's gonna delay the onset of the symptoms of the disease in this population. And it will enable us to come up with something that is much more reliably associated with a cure. Many times a person like that in a traditional medical system would be somewhat written off. Yet here's a gentleman who still retains a lot of dignity. You have a, a loving wife who's devoted to him and in offering programs to help her through this and even to work with him so even though we may not be able to improve his condition or deficits, at least we can try to maintain as best as possible. The plateaus to me just mean he's about where he was three months ago. He's not gone down. Mm, I love you, you look so handsome. He did improve somewhat under Dr. Burnick's care because he was given the right medication, because I was educating myself. And so I better understood how to care for him and what to do for him. One of the things that we've learned since our association with the Louvo Center for Brain Health is the impact and the importance of the disease on the caregiver and the health of the caregiver is as important as the health of the patient. And one of the unique focuses of this center is to really see both as its primary mission. I can't tell you how grateful I am. I absolutely love the clinic. I love the doctors. I love the staff. I love the other wonderful volunteers. I love the fact that it supports me. And in supporting me, I can better support my husband. I think the Center for Brain Health represents a passion for comfort and caring, meeting a great need. And that is what the center is about.